Welcome, welcome. Welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video today. Today we're going to get talk about a variety of topics, but this first topic, Tesla is killing the price of full self-driving. We'll talk about what those two meanings might be and why if you are looking to keep your vehicle, your Tesla for a long time, then might be this might be your last chance to get in for a full self-driving before Tesla makes some major changes. So we're going to talk about that plus a variety of topics. But before we do that, usually this is where I run my intro really quick, but my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla deal hacking, as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best deal on Tesla at the best financing rate. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. And today's video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link down below in the description where you can support the channel and get access to the ultimate Tesla buying guide out there with, out there with all the best interest rates for financing your Tesla. So definitely check it out. Patreon link down below in the description. And on top of that, all the live streams are partnered with Mint Mobile where you can save money on your mobile phone plan. Also check it out down below but more on that later. So let me catch you up on what exactly happened. So yesterday, Tesla dropped the price of the full self-driving subscription for Tesla vehicles all the way down to $99 a month. It was $199 before that, and then now it is down to $99 a month. No commitment, you can cancel at any time, which is the best part about this. You could sign up, drive for a month, do a bunch of road trips, and you can cancel it right after that. So this is a fantastic deal for people that have not, or that already did their trial for their one month trial and want to try and keep Tesla full self driving for a long time after for that. And really, it's a great deal for anybody that does not keep their Tesla past five years because five years at $100 a month, that's 60 months, that's $6,000, which is half the price of Tesla full self-driving right now at $12,000. But maybe there was something in here or in something in this announcement that we might have missed. And that first thing onto why they might be killing full self-driving is maybe they're taking away, not killing full self-driving, but killing the price of full self-driving. Of driving, maybe driving because maybe it potentially could be that Tesla could be removing the twelve thousand dollar option because no one in their right mind is going to plunk twelve thousand dollars because you really have to keep the car for like ten years then to keep a Tesla for ten years it just doesn't make any sort of worth in terms of the investment to actually do that so really going at a hundred dollars a month is a much better financial decision versus paying upfront full self driving for ten years unless you really. Feel feel like the value of the full self-driving is going to stay with the vehicle. But even in the secondhand market, full self-driving is really only worth like two to three thousand dollars. So there could be a case made there where if you keep your car for eight years or seven years and you resell it because it has an enhanced value, then maybe it's worth it. But Really, the $100 mark is really where, where it's going to be. But here's a quick post from Christopher Dungeon. Thank you, Chris, for posting it. And this is an interesting quote. It says, going forward, everyone pays $99 a month. This last sentence is difficult for me to process. This does not mean prices will stay static for forever. What is it? What it does mean is that 99% of SFSD users will pay $99 a month instead of going forward with the 12 k upfront option. But there could be a chance here that Tesla removes a 12K option and really just sticks with the $99 a month period or $99 a month pricing. But then really like, what if that changes? What if Tesla increases the prices of that as well? As well? So maybe this $12,000 option is really not going away. But check out this poll. Shout out to Yaman value analyst. He put a poll out there. What will happen to full self-driving's price? Keep it the same $12,000. Cut it to seven to $12,000. Cut it lower than $7,000 or an overwhelming over 44%. I know it's only 268 votes, but 44% that said that they will remove the pricing option because the take rate probably on that full self-driving $12,000 is probably not really that high. And so we could see a removal if people gravitate to the $99 a month option. So it really could be an interesting move. On top of that, here's another post for Sorry Merit. News as of today, Tesla is no longer allowing free full self-driving transfers. That was a promotion where if you had full self-driving on your older vehicle, you could transfer it to a brand new vehicle, but it seems like that is all 
also an ending to this promotion as well. So a lot of different interesting things coming on from the full self-driving period or space. And so really we could see in terms of like Tesla's killing it because they're lowering the price down to $99 and no one's going to spend that $12,000. But we could also see that maybe Tesla's strategy here is to just get as many subscriptions as possible and just kill the $12,000 option all together because you can go to teslas.com website right now and you can build vehicles model 3 model y s and x and at the moment you can still you can still add full self-driving for the massive $12,000. So maybe in the future, they're going to change this, but very interesting to see that uh, they dropped the price. It's probably really interesting to see what type of take rate they're actually getting now. I mean, I've certainly thought of it, but let me know what you think. Are you going to subscribe for it after a free trial, or are you just going to subscribe to it anyway to trial the latest and greatest? It is a really cool technology, and it finally is to a certain point where I can say it is definitely good or decent now. It's come a long way for sure you still have to supervise it or monitor it but still it has came a long way but let me know what your thoughts are we're going to jump into the next topic but before we do that just a quick word from our partner but before we get into our next topic we all love saving money right and we hate overpaying that's why i'm excited to be partnering with mint mobile for our daily live streams how much are you paying for your mobile plan and what do you actually get speed coverage data access to 5g unlimited talk and text and mobile hotspot even well mint offers all of these features for as low as 15 dollars a month they're built on the nation's largest 5 5G network and keep costs low because they can sell directly to you online and cut out the retail stores and salespeople. Switching is easy now with digital SIM cards. I just switched my second line to Mint and I did it all online without going into a store. If your phone doesn't have an eSIM, Mint will ship you a brand new SIM card for absolutely free. Don't be duped. Go to trymintmobile.com slash DennisCW, also linked down below in the description, and stop paying more than you have to for your phone plan. It only takes 15 minutes. And right now, new customers can get any plan for just $15 a month when they purchase three months or more, and that includes the unlimited plan, which is normally $30 a month. Thank you to Mint for partnering, and let's get back to the next topic. Thank you for that, everyone. Hosef, thanks for coming in. I finally got my 12.3.4 this week and got the free trial and my sub lowered automatically from $199 to $99. I will be subbing for the life of the lease. Actually, that's a great point Like because that is really going to be the market that this is going to go after, people that are leasing the vehicle because $99 a month on a lease, three years, $3,600. 100% worth it in that camp if you're looking to own a Tesla and drive full self-driving on your Tesla. So great point there. Really thankful for that. In this next topic, Tesla has halted production or halted deliveries of the Tesla Cybertruck. This is hot off the press. It seems like deliveries of the Cybertruck have been stopped and you can no longer get a Tesla Cybertruck, at least in the near future. Let's take a look at what exactly is going on here. But if you're just joining in, my name is S. I love talking about Tesla deal hacking, so definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. Shout out to the Cybertruck guy. As of today, it appears Tesla has placed a hold on all cyber truck deliveries nationwide this is a proactive safety related pause all trucks have stopped in their current position i've seen reports of stealing column module service bulletin as well as recall of the accelerator for certain vehicles for this time being upcoming deliveries are being rescheduled for at least a week if you have any info please dm it seems like this is certainly affecting a ton of people. Shout out to Tesla Owners Club's uh, San Joaquin Valley. Just got word that my Cybertruck delivery along with everyone else's is on containment hold. I don't know if this is California specific, but Tesla is, about to, is all about safety, so I'm comfortable with the fact that uh, they've put this on hold. This is unfortunate because Tesla Cybertruck certainly got to a certain large amount, like what, 6,000, 7,000 units, and now they are being on pause for that. So if you just got a delay of your Cybertruck order, this is what's actually happening so let us know were you pushed out for a week or two or maybe even later this month and let me know what was the reasoning that you actually got for it if they give you any reasoning at all tesla is very notorious for just pushing delivery dates and just telling you oh sorry your delivery date has been pushed but on the other news of cybertruck check out this crazy cybertruck wrap 
or Cybertruck Tron wrap by Ford Giotto. You can see the Ford Giotto rims. You can also see stars in the ceiling as well. Very interesting direction they went with this one with this orange color. Our Tesla Cybertruck is certainly being wrapped at the moment. If you want to see the unwrapping video, where we actually damaged it. Definitely head on over to our video page. We just released it so you can see what exactly happened with our Tesla Cybertruck. But definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what your thoughts are. We're going to jump into the live stream comments. Uncle Kenroy, we removed the wrap. Yes, we removed the wrap. We're stainless right now, but it's getting wrapped into a different color at the moment. It's actually at Bespoke Design Lab, and actually we're running a giveaway with Bespoke Design Lab as well. So if you're in the Southern California area or willing to travel to the Southern California area, we're giving away paint protection film or vinyl change color film and also Tesla sipping glasses. So definitely hit up the link or go to our YouTube community page where you can jump in to join into the giveaway. And on top of that, just a announcement from our channel sponsor tenant ev financing they're giving away a free electric charger if you go with installation with them and also finance so definitely check out Tenet down below in the description thank you to Tenet for sponsoring this video and a bunch of other videos this month but thanks for jumping in everybody thanks for supporting thanks for in the like button in the comments and everything and i'll see you guys in the next one see ya